Hey, parents and caregivers and teachers, I know we're all um, trying to do the best we can for our kids. Uh, today during our Calm Circle time, I read a story to the kids called Coronavirus is a Big Word, and I wanted to share some more thoughts and ideas that hopefully will help you in explaining this um, difficult and challenging time to your children. So the story focused on um, what coronavirus is and also um, talked about how not everyone will get sick and it really focused on being safe and healthy. So staying home will keep us safe and healthy. Uh, so the focus of the story was much less about coronavirus and much more about how we can stay safe and healthy. Uh, one thing about young children is they are particularly tuned into the emotional tone of us as parents. Um, they pay much more attention to the nonverbal, the tone. Um, they're very tuned into judging their safety by looking at the adults that care for them and assessing how safe does that adult feel right now. And when we feel safe as adults, the children are much more likely to feel safe. So the first thing that I wanna suggest is that um, you take care of yourself first. So um, really limit your exposure to the news right now. Um, certainly limit your children's exposure, but make sure you're getting a really good dose every day of good news, of funny stories, inspirational stories, things that will make you feel good. And um, all, we do need to stay aware of what's happening around us so make sure you're getting the essential news that you need from a reputable news source um, in a, in brief bits so that you're not overwhelming your own um, psyche with overwhelming information about this difficult time so take things in small doses um, ask let your children ask questions if they need to ask questions. Um, if you're on a phone call with somebody and um, maybe your child overhears something that could potentially be scary or something on the news may have been scary to them, you can also ask the child or say to the child, today when we were on the phone with Aunt Susie, she said this, and I wonder what you think of that. And just give the child an opportunity to say kind of what they're um, thinking about what was heard. Oftentimes, children hear things in a different way than they were um, than they were meant to be taken. So it gives us an opportunity to clarify, and we can provide children with information um, that's brief, very factual, and we always want to focus back on safety. Um, it's helpful, I think, to talk to children about what is going to happen before it happens. So at this time, obviously, we're all supposed to be staying at home, but you might decide to go out on a walk or a bike ride. Um, you may have to go to um, the store for something or the pharmacy, and you also might need to go to a doctor's appointment. And so when our families are going out, we're seeing things differently than um, we would normally see them. So uh, one of the things that I shared with the kids today was um, that they'll be seeing a lot of masks. Most people when they're going out now, they're going to be seeing masks. So showing children what the different masks are, different ways people are covering their faces, and what that means because having a mask can look kind of scary. Um, to a young child. So if we prepare them before and let them know, we're gonna see a lot of people and a lot of them are helping to keep us safe by wearing a mask. And we're gonna help keep ourselves safe and help keep our um, friends and neighbors safe by wearing a mask also. It's helpful to turn things into a game. So if you say, oh, let's see if we can find anybody with a blue mask today. Let's count how many masks can you find that have rainbows on them. Because if there is one thing that is happening is people are being very, very creative with their face masks. Um, and just focus on how the mask is there to keep us safe. Just like seatbelts keep us safe. So it's not something to be afraid of. It's something that's really helpful. You can point out, wow, look at all the people that are being so responsible and so respectful. There's so many people that are helping us right now. 
Um, you can practice wearing masks at home and make it kind of fun um, because we know that if we play with something, it's less scary. I hope this information is helpful to you and um, everyone at Calm wishes you and your family well. Bye.